Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue wrapping up the revolution in the former UK. So right now, we're going to wrap up everything around here, uh, finish off Scapa Flow, and begin an invasion of Iceland to Greenland to bomb the hell out of North America. While at the same time, I want to begin planning an invasion down into these Atlantic Islands. And potentially, someday, maybe get the Brazilians to help us out. Oh, Chile is over here. That's not good. Uh, they have a couple ships left. They don't have very, they don't have many divisions at all. I'm thinking I might actually invade Uruguay. It's you know, it's a small pesky island. If we invade, then Argentina won't really get involved. Neither will Brazil. So I'm thinking that actually might be for the best. Now I'm going to take half of you guys. I want you to come from here. To, I want to take both islands at the same time. Uh, give me the other two as well. They come from there. And we'll come down here. That'll be good. Awesome. Now let's go check out our Czech divisions. You are up there. Awesome. You guys are doing a great job. Uh, just give me all six of yours. Give me half. Invade from Trodheim to Rajevik. Or at least that's how I think you pronounce it. Rajavik. And basically do the same thing from this side to the other side of Rajavik or Iceland. Ooh, we lost a plane. That's not that's not really a big deal though. A couple planes, whatever. Ooh, they've no dis they only have destroyers. Against two destroyers and a light cruiser, that's probably not terrible. Uh but yeah. We've been trying to sink whatever floats around here, so yeah. Nice. They're gonna probably try to reconquer the rest of Plymouth. Or Cornwall, or southeast, in the southwest, England, which is fine. Oh, we got Bristol, that's great. We're we getting navally invaded? Oh, it's from the UK, from the Allies, I mean. From the Brits. Oh. Oh, I actually eventually did land a couple of tanks here. Interesting. Go from Liverpool, if you can, and take the Isle of Man. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Invade when you can. Super heavy armor piercing shell, great. Do this. Oh, we finally have 50 uh, thingamabobs. Now I sunk a Chilean destroyer, a Greek sub. Two more Greek destroyers for that one. And I said before in the last episode, oh, we're going to need some more repair thingies. Good. I want to make a... Ooh, another super heavy battleship. Oh, oh my goodness, yes. But really, what I'm looking to make is a 1944 battlecruiser because they're very similar to battleships. It's just... They're a little faster, maybe have a little bit less armor. These are called BCs. Save. But I'm going to make it a battle cruiser, so we get a little more armor. We get 20 less organization. We use less supply, which is better. But we do get 10 less armor. Go figure. More anti, better anti-air, actually. Actually, we can put better cannons on these boys now. Oh. Yes, please. Level 4 cannons, which... Honestly, probably won't do that much for us, but I'm still putting them on. Level 4 radar, yes. Level 4 engine, which makes them actually quite a bit faster. And we already have dual-purpose secondary batteries. And, oh, wait, that's battleship armor 3. I want battle cruiser armor. There we go. So this is... Wait. Yeah, I... Battle cruiser armor. Yeah, okay. Cool. We duplicated that, so... Ah, oh, so good. So good. Go ahead and put you in my favorite place. Everyone say <gasps> Leningrad. That's right. We can learn all sorts of different languages here. Awesome. And if I can upgrade, eh, I'm not going to upgrade my old ships with stuff. But let's see. Destroyer holes. 1940s destroyer holes. Level 4 stuff is pretty good. Radar. We could probably do that. That's pretty much the only difference out of everything else, which is just totally fine with me. Awesome, so what do we have here? We've got some subs, we've got three destroyers, we've got a lot of guys getting hurt, and I do want to let you guys know, uh, I will be ending this episode just a little bit sooner than I normally do, just because I've got some things with a dinner to go to or whatever, just dinner to have or something, I don't know. But regardless, I will be cutting this video just a little bit shorter, not too much shorter, but you know, a little bit shorter, so. Uh, yeah, two divisions attacking, you might need an extra nine to take out twelve. That can't get any supply. Good, good, good. It looks like, for the most part, 
We're doing pretty awesome. Semi-modern artillery upgrade. Go ahead and have these guys repair for now. Doesn't look like they've t suffered that much damage overall, but like I said before, I want to make sure my ships are great. Uh, better anti-air? Yeah, let's do that. Maybe we can get anti-air 4 on our future ships. Alright, very good. And of course, even if the British lose the home islands, they will continue to try and try to invade other places. God, they still are such imperialists. Uh, for right now, I'm okay with you in the UK. Maybe you get invaded, maybe you don't. So, we took out the UK. Honestly, I'm going to need my ships to invade Iceland and Greenland. And then help invade over here as well. But I still want to finish off Japan. Because right now, Japan is pretty big. It's still powerful. It is the last power that hasn't capitulated within their own faction. Now, that means... There's going to be a lot of problems and a lot of death that's going to have to occur. Actually, go 800 for now. Got quite a bit of manpower. I like this. Ooh. That'll be good. Uh, I want 800, please. Thank you. And add in 400 bombers if you can. Ooh, we got some crappy things. Oh, uh, actually, we don't have any maritime bombers. That's not good. If I have to use medium bombers, then so be it. We'll come back to North Northern Korea very soon. We need fighters, which I'm not going to put on. And semi-modern mechanized infantry. Well, let's see. Semi-modern mechanized. Well, we don't have enough for me to re really replace a lot of things here, so. You know what, for you guys, go ahead and just repair everyone. Y'all probably deserve somewhat of a break at the moment. Yeah, we got a lot of things to repair. 13 days, 10 days actually isn't terrible, so... We got a lot of things in queue though, but let's say let us take a look. We got 15 extra subs. That's awesome. We got four destroyers trying to do stuff. We got actually quite a bit of uh quite a few cruisers coming along too. 15 subs. Throw you under here. Those are really not great subs, but these are subs aren't too bad. Combine these two groups together. Merging with whatever fleet is around here, which is awesome. And I actually might go ahead and just let you guys do some convoy raiding wherever you need to be. Sounds pretty good to me. Battlefield camo, awesome. Infantry stuff, it's almost 1950. Do we have anything for more for engineering? Uh, 1949 radio direction stuff? Oh, we actually launched an invasion. Well, oh, excuse me, excuse me. No, I don't want my divisions. I want to see the Isle of Man. Please, stop. It. No, I don't want to click on my divisions. I want to click on the Isle of Man. God dang it, I can't do anything about this because I can't invade. Or I can't get the Isle of Man. Oh, we actually might win. Yeah, we actually might win. Nice. Um, I don't think I need all these planes around here for all this stuff. I mean, I still will need some. But I'm going to send all of you guys to Japan. So come ahead to Japan. That'd be great. Uh, you guys, heavy bomber wings, that's not too bad. We're gonna need a lot of space. Go and do Japan when you get there. And that's why I left my, a lot of my infantry over there in Japan. So that we will have to eventually invade. Tanks, tanks. I mean, my, honestly, these tanks, they're not... Okay, we won. Good job, guys. They're not going to be super useful. If anything, I'm probably going to have to use them in the invasion of Japan. I mean, yeah, we'll have infantry, but I want tanks to push into J Japanese territory as well. That just might, might make it a little easier. They have up to 66 divisions, so... Excuse me. Having some tank divisions will definitely help out. So come on over here to Asia. Take your time, take your time. But just don't go in the water. I mean, for too long. Yeah, just come to Germany. That's okay. But nice. Very nice. Alright. Uh, ships. What are you doing? Well, a lot of you are actually repairing. Five out of five. One of these ships is on fire. That's not good. Let's see. Repairing the Scottish Highlands. I mean, our guys have done a great job. We got four more divisions. Uh, oh. What is this? Italy is trying to invade. Alright. Against a very well dug in enemy. Something tells me that they'll probably eventually win. But I could be wrong. Could be wrong. 
Let's see. Oh, and we got more immigrants. 2,500 more immigrants. See, they love our country. They love us. They really love us. You my subs. Alright, subby boys. No assigned regions? Well, no assigned regions at the moment. North Atlantic Ridge. Let's do that for now. Oh, are there enemy... Oh, there's an enemy fleet here. Uh-oh. We found some American ships. That's not good. Oh, they're going to sink some of our ships, probably. We have found the American enemy fleet. That's a lot of ships. 48, 56, Jesus. And our subs are moving in to do their assigned job. Alright, we still have quite a few people repairing. That's not great. Uh, let's see. Don't want to take any more off, but you know, if I have to, so be it. I want to repair as much as I can as fast as possible, so. Nice. Very good, guys. Very good. 1949. 18, 1949, yeah. 1949. Research speed. ET. Steel. Cool. Yeah, I'll take more steel. Why not? I mean, it looks like we got a lot of fleets and task forces for this area, but a lot of them are really injured. Like, Task Force 1? Yeah. Really, really injured. So I don't really don't want to do too much with that group just yet. Since we did have that American fleet come by around here. So, uh, where are you? Are you guys duking it out with somebody? Oh. Ooh. Oh, okay then. They got a couple of carriers, but I don't see any screens. So if an enemy capital ship doesn't have any screens, that's extremely risky for the enemy. Hope you got, hopefully those guys do a great job. Hope they do. Because we have to invade very soon. Oh, come on, I want at least one more task fleet with a capital ship. Because we two here. Well, I mean, we've got three ships. Nine ships. Ugh, this repair stuff, man. I mean, oh my goodness, that that battleship got hit pretty... Not too hard, but out of commission for 1.1 months. That's quite a ways away. Four days isn't bad. Not bad, not bad. Lost a plane to a couple American convoys. Spotted an enemy using our bad subs. Or, you know, just subs that aren't as good. Uh-oh. Oh. Nice, American convoy has been sunk. Good, good, good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and turn these guys loose. I know what I said earlier, but... Oh, so you have two battleships there, a battleship here, and a battleship here. Awesome. Take this off, take this off. Do that area. And honestly, instead of... You guys doing that... Do Western Approaches. That should be pretty good. And we lost two planes, whatever. American Destroyer, we lost another plane, we sunk an American Destroyer, we sunk another American Convoy, another group right there, oh, we found a couple, few American ships, that's good, and I want you guys to go, can you go ahead or not, oh, most of you can, if I lose these guys, yeah, that's not good, but you know, could be much worse, so we got this, we got that, uh, do they still have to prepare or something, or... Oh, we need to do this area, too. That makes sense. Instead of... Actually, you guys do... Oh, you're actually fighting. Do that area, too. Oh, but we need Northern Sea, too. God dang it. Instead of that, I want you to come back to the Northern Sea. That should actually be okay, then. Now I sunk nine American destroyers. Ugh. Oh, you know, it's either going to be me or the Japanese fleet destroying the American fleet. As well as the British fleet, so... Not bad. We got quite a bit of political power here. Uh, it looks like we could use more war sports. Let's do that against Japan. I'm kind of surprised we don't have that against the... Oh, Communist States of America. 52 ships in a single fleet. Oh, my goodness. Four carriers. That's kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie at all. That's a lot of enemy ships. And a lot of them are not really that injured either. Oh, but we sunk an American heavy cruiser. I thought it was kind of nice. Uh, a couple subs locating some American ships. We might lose a sub. We might not. But we did sink up a Chilean heavy cruiser. That's good. 
Two more American convoys. A couple more American convoys. Just... Alright. Can we go ahead yet? Come on, guys. North Sea. We need more naval supremacy. Where the hell are my ships? Why are you working in the Denmark Strait? Uh, I didn't tell you to come here. I thought I told you to go just to the North Sea. But okay. Yeah, getting these these guys kind of confused kind of sucks. Oh, a couple more enemy ships. Alright then. Wait, what is this? What? Oh, it's this. Okay, cool. Very cool. I didn't know you could actually do that. Improved anti-air upgrade. Nice. Uh, you know what? We still have time to do another one. Some more anti-air attack. Anti-air bombing damage reduction. Not bad. A mountaineer division from a group that I will annex soon. And to remind ourselves to annex them, let's build something for them. Nothing says happiness like more roads. And better roads, right? Exactly. Uh, more military factories seems pretty good for us, at least for now. Good, good, good. We got a couple of nukes. We got seven nukes in reserves. Obviously, I'm, it's most likely that the United States, Confederate, Confederate States, no. The U.S. Communist States nuked us, so. And I don't know how you invaded me here, but that's not going to stand. Uh-oh. All right, so we lost one of our own destroyers. That was actually pretty good against six American destroyers, so... Overall, that wasn't bad. Uh, did we finally... No, we haven't invaded yet. But our guys are looking like they're starting to go. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. Good. Destroy those American destroyers and light cruisers. I'm more worried about destroying their light cruisers than destroyers. Because destroyers, I mean, they're not bad. But light cruisers are just so good in this in the current naval meta. It's not even funny, man. But sometimes I'll joke about it, too. Yeah, get the... Just use the battleship and tear their booties asunder. Oh, Oh! American convoy, a couple American convoys, a Chilean convoy, Mexican destroyer, another Mexican destroyer, followed up with a Me an American heavy cruiser hull. Very good, boys. Very good job. Nice. Just keep sinking their ships because obviously Japan isn't going to do it. So we've got to do it for ourselves. Well, we only have three divisions attacking. It's not very cool, but eh, it'll happen eventually. Hopefully, there's not a whole ton of divisions up here. There might be, actually. I don't know. But I'm kind of disappointed that not everyone has decided to launch. Which kind of sucks. But you know what? If we have to be down here anyways, then come from Scapa Flow just to invade here, please. Just do that instead. This way, we won't actually need you over by the Norwegian coast. So, that would actually probably be actually better. Come on, guys. You can invade. You can do well. Oh, nice. You invaded an area that doesn't have very any supply. Okay, then. I don't want you guys to die. So, if you could attack Rejevik or any place that has... Oh, you guys are actually attacking Rejevik as... Or the tile up here. Oh, these guys might actually die. Oh, no. Yeah, they have no port. Oh, no. Well, then. Hmm. Oh, their organization is doing pretty well, though. Not bad. Give them some land ports, just in case the Americans decide to attack. But at this point, I'm probably just going to starve the American convoys out. So, go ahead. Patrols are nice. Actually, patrols can also sink convoys, I think. Take that off. We don't need that area. Oh, uh, magnetic detonator. Go ahead and do some convoy raiding. If we find enemy ships, so be it. If not, so be it. Let's see. More torpedo attack, please. Thank you very much. Very good. Because even though these guys might start here, hey, they're only 21 combat width, and they're not exactly my divisions. Uh, the enemies are suffering from attrition as well. And actually, oh, battleship has found a couple of enemies. Nice. Um, you know what could help us push? Nothing says pushing like a bunch of nukes. Yeah, we use a lot of our nuclear capacity and stockpile, but that's okay. It's for the good of the revolution. Please win. Please clap. All right. That's not very good for us. So we'll do whatever we can to ensure victory. Nice. Very good job, guys. Admiral Philip Oktyabrsky. Doing a great job, man. Oh. Look how good of a job he's doing. 
Just amazing work. Absolutely amazing. If we get Regevic, then these guys will definitely not be able to survive. And we've got enough time to get more nukes, so no problem there, right? Exactly. Oh, lots of American convoys. Oh, the, the Italians actually took that area out. Great job, guys. Great job. Nice. You guys have nothing invading there. Probably won't prove to be very useful. Um, actually, go again. From, if you can, from Scat Buffalo. Good, we got more immigrants. Great job, guys. We sunk two American destroyers. Two American destroyers, and we lost a destroyer, though. In exchange for nine American convoys. Nine more American convoys. Five more American convoys. Something, an American destroyer, and five more American convoys. And two more American convoys, followed up with another American destroyer. And then, nine more American convoys. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Naval doctrine is done, but we can still do some stuff here. Awesome. Losses. Mine's still over a little, 7 million. The United States, 6.5.6. .6. Not bad. Oh, we're getting attacked. That's not good. That's really not good. But our guys are invading regard. Okay, I don't want you to invade here. That was a bad idea. Oh, no, 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 no. Um... That was not the best idea. Um, what is this? Torpedo reveal chance? Sure. What is this? Outdated equipment and tech. M2. Oh. Advanced rocket artillery. Let's do that. Alright, go ahead. If you can't kill these guys off, it's, I know it's 10 divisions, but it's like 10 divisions that don't exist. We should be able to take them out. I mean, we've been killing a lot of American convoys. Which is good for us to destroy manpower. Ooh, another destroyer. And stuff like that. Nice. Check out the states. Still a lot of manpower. Couple ships. Pretty good. A large number of convoys, which makes sense. Uh, two more. Three more. Two more. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Oh, and a couple more enemy ships. I mean, this has just been like ship destroyer simulator, so really not bad. Um, but dum bum 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 bum. Actually, how many ships do I need to help? I just need one group. Actually, give me. Is it you? No, it's not you. It's you guys over here. In the North Sea. Well, I don't really need you in the North Sea at the moment, so I'm gonna have. Wait. You don't need to do that either. I want you to navy do this area. Go ahead and rebase in... Oh, man. All these places suck. Then again, it is Africa. I want to do that before we end the episode, so... Invading those islands probably wouldn't be a bad idea. How did we lose? How did we lose that? Holy crap. I mean, the Americans are definitely not getting any supply through here. But us losing constantly? That's not very cool, man. That's not very cool. Iceland taking forever to get more supply. Ugh. These guys really shouldn't either be getting that much supply. Take half. Of, oh, those guys are not very good. Uh, improved anti-air upgrade. Um, there's really no good place to invade from. Actually, we could probably just invade from here to there. Yeah, let's do that. We got we got these guys here, so we might as well use them if we can. So go ahead and rebase. Like, I'm telling you to move right now. Alright, this is uh, actual rebellion against me, so I might just like get rid of those guys. That's not very cool, guys. I need you to move when I tell you to move. I know the supply isn't great over there, but come on. Yeah, more immigrants, so at least that's good. I don't know how we can break into there. Yeah, I know the train's not great, but look at their supply. It's so bad. Oh, and half of these guys died. Okay. Okay. Makes sense, I guess. Yeah, this is... It doesn't make that much sense. You should be able to push into them. You really should. You might actually not be able to. Maybe, no, yes. But regardless, I mean, we can still just wait here the entire time. So that area is a giant mess. 
Screw it. You guys. Disappointing me already. That's not very good, guys. I need you to invade that area. And go, of course, go ahead when you can. Convoys. Actually, this area. Go ahead and do this. That's fine. That's good. That's fine. Armor piercing cap. Medium shells. Great. Happy 1950, everyone. Hope you're having a great, great, great year. Industry. Industry. 1951. This is 1951 stuff as well. 1950s. Oh, yeah. Some better support weapons. Heck, yeah. Two more Polish divisions. Go ahead and throw them on this one army that I've been putting on and so I can delete two more divisions. We got 300,000... 300,000 more manpower? I think so. No. 30,000 more manpower. Yeah. 30,000 more manpower. Ships, have you made it down here yet? Yes, you have. Good. Nice job, guys. Mm, go ahead and do that. Actually, you know what? I'm going to split you guys in half. There you go. That's That should actually be a little better. And I'm going to tell... Aunt Rody, what you all have been doing. Go, go ahead. I don't foresee too many problems doing this, but you know, I could be wrong. Yeah, look at look how weak these guys are, and that they're still surviving. Makes no sense. You guys are doing wait, why are you on patrol? I want you to do convoy. And these guys are doing convoy as well, which eh, is okay, but need you to do North Sea as well. And unfortunately, I think that might be all the time we have for today. Alright, do we have supplies? We got supplies coming through here. You should easily be able to win this now. You should absolutely be easily able to be winning this. Send all the guys here now. Tell them to go ahead, and I will end the episode once we take Iceland, because this should be taken pretty much immediately. There's pretty much no excuse for them to not take it. But let's see, have we... We are invading... That's good. This will help us set up an invasion for Uruguay, or maybe even Brazil, like I've said before. But let's see. Come on, you guys. You guys can win, right? Mm, give it maybe a little bit more gas. I mean, these guys have to be dying at least a little bit. I know they're defending in mountains and stuff like that. Give me one guy. Help attack this direction. Seventy. Come on, you guys got this. You guys got this. I mean, they're almost literally non-existent. Come on. Eh, we got more immigrants. Very good. Have we taken these islands yet down here? Not yet. Oh, well, kind of, actually. Nice. Good job, guys. And... What about right here? Have we... Did we lose somebody? Or have they not gone? Hmm... Come from here to here. I don't know why. I I set up four divisions in total to do this, but I guess not. I'm going to take seven days. I'll give it seven days, and we'll invade, and then we'll actually take them out. Oh, and we got two more tank divisions. These are the two marine divisions. Two more marine divisions. Uh, throw you onto the fire pit. That is the western front. Good. Okay, seriously, how have we not taken this yet? Oh, we're moving. Okay. These guys were actually defeated. All right, I will end this once Ison's gone, and we can at least take this little derpy island. In the meantime, let us get some Coast Guard divisions to defend these little pesky islands, which could be very useful. Good. Good, good. And I did say earlier that I would be ending this episode a little bit shorter, but that might not turn out the way I intended for it to. And we could use more military factories. Ah, oh, I gotta love that lag, right? Cool. Good. Good, 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 good. Ark, 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 ark. Like Mr. Krabs says. Awesome, we took it. Almost. Oh, come on, you're so flipping close. So close. Need more dockyards. Need more dockyards. Another uh, battle cruiser. Uh, yeah, battle cruiser. Very good. Very nice. Leningrad is the life for you. Thank you. And another tank division, which is an actual tank division. Which one is my tank division? Is that this guy? No. It's not you. Oh, crap. Uh, I've lost track of which one is my tank divisions. Oh, is this one? 20. We're almost done with our full set of tank divisions. Nice. Come on. Oh, my God, guys. Seriously. 
Of course, we don't have air superiority because we can't even get over here. But how much longer? Seriously, how much longer? This is honestly a little pathetic. It's taking so long, we can almost invade this other island. Wait, wait, where did the guy go? I told you guys to invade. Oh my goodness. This is stupid. This is becoming, honestly, just too stupid. Let's do this. I guess it will be a normal full-length episode because my guys are completely incompetent. Oh, good old reasons why to be incompetent. At least we took that one tile. That's good. Kill these Americans and let's get on with it. They're only Americans. They're still men. I mean, how can they attack us with no strength? Like, literally no strength. I mean, yeah, I know they're 40 width, but they're like, no strength. That makes no sense. Oh, and they died. See? And you're still struggling. You're still struggling. You kill them off. And you're still struggling to get over there. I just want the island, please. And we got invaded in... Oh my goodness, that's not good. Uh, well, it's a good thing I left my army here then. I mean, I don't know how you're actually able to invade if I've killed, like, everything within the water that you can even get through. You know the AI is cheating, because we put ships here before, and I still have planes bombing this area where we find nothing around here. Come on. I know it's laggy. I know things are going like this, but it took our tanks, marine tanks, to actually navally invade and take these guys out. Ugh. But regardless, we took it out. We did a great job regardless. Um, is this taken yet? I want to finish it. I'm going to end the episode right here, right now. I'm going to do this some other time, because this is pissing me off now. This thing, my soldiers refuse to take it. I have put, like, every single person here, get over here and actually take the goddamn island. But regardless, I'm going to end the episode now, because I'm getting pissed off at this. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. It took us about 50 years to invade Iceland. Regardless, we have it under control now. Some stupid islands causing us problems because the AI is wonky. But regardless, hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow, guys. Have a great day.